Now let's create a new access group for the PEM module. Number of modules, we go to PEM. We go to Settings and Access. Now we can enter the Access Groups screen. Here are listed all the access groups that have already been created. To create a new one, we go to the Action button and click on New. A screen will open where we can configure our access group. We then give this group a name. We can add a description, say which tenant and whether it is enabled. On the first configuration tab, we will configure the power that the user will have within this group, whether he can view the password or whether he can initiate sessions. To view password, and to start sessions. We can force the user to give a reason for this access or ask for an approval to perform this action. We can then configure how many approvals and how many disapprovals are required for that approval to be granted or denied. We can add hierarchy with our leveled approval. And we can trigger the emergency access where the user will be able to break this approval and perform their action immediately. Finally, we can configure how long the user can increase the expiration of this password that he has visualized and how many parts he can see of this password. And it can be the whole password, or just the first one, or just the second one. And we can also require the change ID to log in. In the in the last configuration, we have whether the governance ID will be required when the user is justifying and whether the manager will be added as an approver of that group automatically. In the second tab, we have our criteria. Our criteria means that we will determine which devices and credentials will be accessed by the users of this access group. They can be limited by type of each or we can specify exactly which product, which device with which credential these, these users will access. In the Users tab, we can add any user to the vault. And in the Approvers tab, we add those who will be the approvers of this access group. The people who are on this tab will be the ones who will receive messages about any attempted actions from the regular users. In the last tab, we have our access limitation, in which we can limit by day or by period of the day the access of our users. And we can also limit until when this group will be active. It's a start and its end. After setting all these fields, we click Save and our group will be created.
and the users will already be added automatically. To add more users, we can go to the action button, editing button of a group, and add more users, or change any other settings. This menu can also be accessed from our quick menu. And go to access groups and we go to access control for PAM groups. The same window will be opened as shown previously.